Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey everyone, checking in on the tech sector, Apple and Facebook. So XLK with a lack of follow through and a double top at 5302. That is a very clear resistance level going forward. Inability of the bulls to break that level and the bears took over. So we now have key support. The low of today is 52.72. If we break that, we're heading down to the low of 52.55. So we're close to the bears taking over. This is a potential bear flag setup where you have your dump as the flagpole, a weak bounce attempt to cool off RSI levels, and then continuation to the downside. If the bulls can break 53.02 and see a solid green day tomorrow, that will not be the case. But if we see a break of 52.72, it will be a lot more likely that we do see a bear flag and continuation to the downside. And look at the volume. We have some pretty solid bear volume to the past three days certainly outweighing the bull volume and the amount of recovery we made from that bearish dump day not really significant at this point so it's nice to have a nice clear double top at that 5302 level to be watching as we head into tomorrow and it is also an inside candlestick on the daily time frame an inside bar with the low of that 5272 level which is such a key support in the short term going forward so on the weekly time frame, this is a bearish reversal candlestick. We have seen a couple bearish candlesticks since the election, but never two in a row. We have never confirmed a bearish reversal candlestick since the election. So heading into next week, it's going to be really important. And what stands out to me? Volume. This is going to be the highest volume week that we have seen in a couple of months, and it favors the bears. So we need to be mindful of that. We are certainly extended to the upside over the past three months. So consolidation would be normal and healthy even if we were to confirm this bearish reversal candlestick next week and see further downside. And in reality, we could pull all the way back down to $50 and test this middle Bollinger Band support and still be in a very strong uptrend. So I am looking or some bearish continuation in the market to the downside. And the question is going to be, is it going to be the financial sector or the technology sector that leads the way? And we've had some flip-flopping back and forth where back yesterday it was the financial sector leading the bullish charge to the upside. And I actually should say it was the other way around. It was the technology sector that was holding up the S&P 500 yesterday, but the technology sector was weak today, and it was the financial sector picking up the slack before the end of the day when they both started to pull back. So I'm always watching the interaction between the two sectors and the S&P 500, and today XLK was certainly weaker, and if XLK breaks down tomorrow and loses this low, we will likely see the S&P 500 head down to its low from yesterday as well. So it, Apple... Seeing a bit of a double top as well, 141.60 and 141.58. And it's so very clear that Apple is trading hand in hand with XLK, the technology sector. It's still very strong. We haven't even tested this middle Bollinger Band support in 2017 besides the first day of the year. And that's going to be the key level of support we're watching going forward. Very small range today. Not really much bearish action right now, but a very clear resistance level of 141.60 to be watching. If we do break the low of today, 140.61, that middle Bollinger Band will be the next level in the mid-139 range. The weekly time frame for Apple is a bearish reversal candlestick if we close here or lower. Pretty much a 141 or lower close is going to be a bearish reversal inverted hammer and a long upper wick showing profit taking. A red week will confirm this bearish reversal candlestick looking for further downside next week if we confirm it and again we have not confirmed a bearish candlestick on apple in four months and it's been nothing but upside this weekly chart needs to consolidate and again it would be normal and healthy to see some contained consolidation to the downside even if we pulled back to 130 that's still going to be healthy consolidation so i'm looking for things to start shifting to the downside apple has a lot of wiggle room before we lose this middle bollinger band that's the key level we lost it on the s p 500 very convincingly so we'll be watching for the same thing on apple if we lose this middle bollinger band the odds of confirming that weekly bearish reversal candlestick are a lot more likely so watching the xlk correlation very closely and if xlk heads down 
towards the low we've seen on this pullback, we will look for Apple to test that middle Bollinger Band. Facebook also seeing some strength today and holding up fine. We did test that middle Bollinger Band for the first time since it became support early 2017 yesterday, and the bulls held it, but we have a clear lack of follow through today and upper wick of profit taking, and we're looking at this middle Bollinger Band tomorrow, which is going to be around 138.35 or so. So if that level continues to hold, the bulls will remain in control, but we are forming a bearish reversal doji here as well. And after a month of green, it, we will be watching for confirmation. We've seen a couple bearish reversal candlesticks on the way up with no confirmation. So that's why the confirmation is so important. When you see a chart that has historically continued to negate bearish candlesticks, we need that confirmation to be sure. So that's a very clear bearish reversal doji. Pretty much we're going to form a bearish reversal spinning top or doji on Facebook no matter what happens tomorrow. So it's going to be up to the middle Bollinger Band on the daily. Lose that level tomorrow or early next week and the likelihood of confirming this bearish reversal candlestick instantly becomes more likely. So I appreciate you watching. We'll check back in over the weekend. Have a great night.